back to the second video on the YouTube channel now. So as we're aware of, I'm sure we are, uh, last year I did my, I introduced a new series called the NRL uh, Debut Series where I give a review about every NRL debut that makes their debut um, in, the, in the particular year, which is now 2022. So I made this in 2021, this series. Now it's going to go on to 2022. So yeah, obviously tonight we saw the debut of young manly um, outside back Tola Tau Kula. He played nine minutes and um, yeah, I'm basically going to be talking about quickly about how my thoughts and how he went and um, you know what I thought of his performance in general. So yeah, look, it's hard to really to really give a, a full review because he was on only on for nine minutes and didn't really get involved too much. But you know, look, look, he looked good. I think he looked good, good with the ball. Like a, a couple of times, some of his runs were pretty strong. I thought, um, yeah, a bit, bit stronger than some runs I saw in particular from some players tonight. But yeah. Look, Kula was good. I thought he was, you know. Hopefully, he gets a lot of game time this year because I think, you know, if he gets more game time, I reckon there's a chance he could break into that Melee team. That's what, that's how I, that's how I should rate him because I think, you know, he's a good prospect and I think there's a chance that he can break into that Melee team, you know. I think there's always... I think I think if he gets more game time, yeah, I can't see why not, personally, because he's got potential. He's got, he's got, he's got, he's got the speed, he's got the um, X factor. He can really open up a game as well. So, you know, that's someone we need to look, at, look in... Um, look into more and invest time into something like Cooler. So hopefully the club can uh, do that and uh, look into uh, maybe p potentially giving him more game time and maybe a, a permanent spot. But yeah, look, for now, it's his first game. So I can't really say that he should be in the team every week because it's his first game. And, you know, obviously he's young, so he needs to take a bit of time and, and that. But no, nah, look, he was good. He was good. I, I, I'm happy he made his debut because I wasn't really expecting him to really play this round because obviously Dez doesn't give... They abuse to players that easily, but obviously Walker being out, um, that, that makes cooler that um, replacement as a Jersey 14. But yeah, yeah. Look, despite despite him playing nine minutes, I thought he played pretty well. I thought he did a, did, a, did a good job out there. Didn't really do anything wrong. Um, and yeah, look, I think with more game time and experience under his belt, he'll get he'll get better and better. And uh, yeah, I think he'll definitely improve himself as a player. I've got no doubt about it. So. Yeah, you know, I think I think in the in the off season, obviously, Kula's been hyped up a lot as a player, and which is fair enough because obviously people have seen what he's what, what he can do, how fast he is, and yeah, the type of um, player he is, very skillful, very freakish. So the hype's definitely real. Um, and yeah, look, I think he was good tonight. So hopefully, um, in more games he gets, the more he gets better, and maybe the more chances he gets, maybe the more he can be likely to spend a spot in that meeting team. So. Yeah, everyone, that was just my quick review on how tall Tower Cooler went on NRL debut. More of these videos are coming out across the season as well. But um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you, you do like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you on the very next one.